Hey guys, it is Kimberly from WickLessKimberly.com and I'm gonna go ahead and put a disclaimer here right at the beginning. This is the first time I'm ever recording in this house when everyone is home. So you're probably gonna hear some background noise like a basketball game and Delora and Arlo and Boogie, just an FYI. Hashtag real life. So I have March's warmer incentive of the month that I wanna share with you guys. And first, as always, let's start with the scent. The scent is called Blue Grotto. And we're gonna come back to the sticker here in a second. And I'll put Alora's thoughts at the end so you can see that because she has already smelled this bar. Okay, since he says that Blue Grotto is runaway with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals, I have heard through the grapevine that this scent is inspired by a very popular candle. So popular that I've had at least 10 of my past customers say, if you ever get this scent, let me know. Trust me, I've already reached out to you if you've asked me this, but Blue Grotto smells like volcano from anthropology. So if you know what I'm talking about, you know exactly how amazing this smells. And I honestly cannot put into words how good this smells. It smells like it could be like in the kid scent category. It smells like a sweet and sour candy. Yoshi says it smells like Old Spice Sport. So if you ever smelled that before, it potentially smells like that. I don't know what it smells like, but this is one for the books. Like I said, lots of people have been requesting this scent. So this is it. But like I was saying, we're gonna go back to the sticker. It almost looks like the sticker is kind of like a volcano. Hmm. I don't know, you be the judge of that. Okay, next is our warmer of the month. And this is Garden Gnome. How do you feel about Garden Gnomes? I currently don't have any. He's my first. I'm trying not to look into his eyes. But this is Garden Gnome. He's a three-piece warmer. Um, he does take a smaller bulb than most. It takes 20 watt. So like I said, it's three pieces. So he has his little hat. And this is where the scent is going to come out. You have your dish, which is smaller than most dishes. This will probably only hold maybe about four cubes compared to some warmers that we've had here recently that will hold an entire bar. Um, but he does have a little daisy. He has a rope for his belt. He has the embossed Scentsy back here on the back, so you know you have the real deal. Black cord. So he's, that's Mr. Mr. Garden Gnome. If you have anyone who loves gnomes, collects gnomes, you could also, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm not gonna turn them on because the only place where a light is gonna come out is back here. Um, so if you're familiar with our Nutcracker warmer a few years ago, it's the same concept. He is gonna throw hearts out on the wall. If you do want more light, you can leave the dish out and just use him as a light and he will have light coming out of his hat. Let me read you what Cincy says about Mr. Garden Gnome. He's a modern classic. This dapper fellow will watch over your indoor garden or any space with a colorful charm. And I'll be honest with you, if you're a Cincy consultant, you know that I left a word out of there because I have no idea how to say it. You can call me out, that's okay. But if you guys have any questions, put it down below in the comments. If you want a sample, I'll put my sample link down in there too. But trust me, this scent is amazing. You want to try it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Would you warm it? Yeah? Yeah, you'd warm it? It's good. It's so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. We got ourselves a keeper here, peeps. Yeah. You smell it.